Well, if I mention quilting, you probably think about your grandmother. Mine was a gifted quilter. Mom can attest to that. She made some beautiful pieces. But let's get that stereotype out of your head. All kinds of people quilt, and our next guest certainly proves that. We're happy to welcome back Haley Schober. She's head of the fabrics department at Mangelson's, and you're thinking, yeah, but she's so young. It speaks to exactly what we're talking about here. Haley, it's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. Um, this to this again. idea, row by row, um, it's been. This isn't the first year for it by far. No. Um, what is the, the concept here? What's it like? The concept of row by row is that you travel across the country, and they've actually added Canada as of this year and a couple countries in Europe. So you travel, and each store, um, if they want to participate in it, they make a row, and ours is the Omaha Skyline this year. Uh -huh. We just did something simple. And you pick up the rows at all these stores, and you um, go home, you make them, and you get a license plate to go with it. Mm -hmm. And then after so long, you finish your quilt. Uh huh. And once it's done with at least eight of the rows, you turn it into your quilt store, and you get a prize back if you're the first person. Okay. So what we're looking at now, this is the piece you created at Mangelson. Yes, this one right here. Uh huh. Down front. That's beautiful. Yes, I love the all sunset. of the yeah, yep. and then the silhouette of the all of the the buildings downtown. Yeah. But you brought a few other things in here, and this really caught my eye. Tell yes. us about it. This um, is our license plate. This relates to row by row as well. So fun. Since yes. 61, right? <laughs> right. Year we opened, so uh -huh. um, kind of trades and marks um, what we're all about, yeah. um, fun, inspiration. Um, but no, you get one every year. You can either redesign every mm -hmm. year and make a new phrase, or you can keep the same one, which we'll probably do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's ours that'll be hanging in the store for display, but you can buy smaller ones to go along with your row, mm -hmm. and they retail for $4.99. What is the goal here? I mean, it sounds like a lot of fun, and I mean, thousands of people get into mm -hmm. it, but what is the, the big goal, do you think? Just to kind of meet new people, um, travel, get out of your own little bubble, because us quilters, sometimes we're just in our sewing room mm -hmm. all the time, 24-7, and we never tend to get out of that uh -huh. bubble sometimes. It's making it social. Yeah, right? it does. It's making it social yeah. all of a sudden. How did you get into quilting? What's your story? I started in high school sewing um, with my teacher, Miss Lawson at Westside, mm -hmm. and I got really just tired of making things that didn't fit me, things I didn't like. And so I was like, well, I still really like fabric. I still mm -hmm. like to sew. So I started quilting and immediately just took off from there. Took to it like a duck to water. <laughs> yes. Are you saying that at Mangelson's where, you know, I started this conversation talking about my grandmother because that's who quilted. Mm -hmm. My mom quilted. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that to me, that, that it's the generation, right? And you see, f yeah. to me, I see fewer people doing it. What do you see at Mangelson's for the next generation? You know, we're seeing still fewer, but I see some people still getting back into it. There's, mm -hmm. we have a sewing day and there's a mom who comes in with her 14 year old twins Aww. and they're really getting into it too so that's good to see and there's another shop who she's hired two younger people one mm -hmm. someone even younger than I am and she's doing awesome. So. I think quilting is cheaper than therapy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to me like I mean, it's so therapeutic when it you're, is. you know it's you're very. cutting the fabric or you're putting it together and especially yes. when it tells a story um, where maybe like somebody graduates and you want to do something yes, to mark that occasion of, or you're a having a baby. Quilts. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like that's maybe that's where people want to get good at it so mm -hmm. that when they make that piece then you know yeah. they're not trying it out. And for you the see first a lot time. of young mothers in their twenties that'll come in and mm -hmm. really want to start sewing. So it's good to see the younger. Yeah. What else did you bring in here, Haley? Okay, what is this so piece? this quilt is a Christmas quilt that we're doing. We have a quilt show, the Omaha quilt show coming up. It starts on Thursday night. Uh -huh. um, we're vendors at the show, so this is one of the pieces that I'm taking. Um, and this is obviously a holiday quilt. It is. I love Christmas trees. I'm kind uh -huh. of obsessed with them right now. And this is so classic yeah. um, in the design. And then mm. the box on the end? It's a kit for it. This is the only one I have left, but I have fabric and patterns if you miss mm -hmm. out on the kit. So, so when people come in and they, they you want to talk to them, you want oh, to talk yeah. to your customers at yeah. Mangelson's. Like, what do what do they want to make? And then yeah. you know some of the tricks and ways to get the oh, better absolutely. result ultimately. Yeah, mm -hmm. I spend I say sixty percent of my day just talking to people. Uh huh. That's so. awesome. And there was something else that I was reading about that you're doing at Mangelson's. Um, and you know we we were talking about the Graves family a little bit earlier, and yes. I know you guys have, have been making a ton of blue bows mm -hmm. for everybody there. Um, but there was something else that happened in Orlando around yes. that same time. And that was the shooting at. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here in Omaha to connect back to those affected so by that? So the Modern Quilt Guilds across the country are coming together and they're doing a heart block in rainbow colors and they're donating or they're sending all of those to Modern Quilt Guild in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're selling the quilt and donating the money or mm -hmm. if they're donating the quilt, mm -hmm. but we're doing a quilt for Orlando. And the idea is just a huge piece mm -hmm. to show that love and support because yes. we, we say, like, what can you do? And you feel so helpless, but for, for mm -hmm. people 
for other humans to just sort of feel like miles and miles away people are thinking about you and you're in their hearts. Um, row by row if you want to take part in that, um, which sounds really cool. So you can yeah. pick up some supplies here in Mangelson's. If you're hitting the road, we've got Diane here from the Vacation Store and the Cruise Company. Uh, we'll be talking about travel here in a second, but if you're, you're hitting the road this summer and you want to take part in row by row, uh, make Mang Mangelson's part of your plan there. Of course, you'll find them off I-80 and 84th Street, and it's a milestone year for them. So they've got all kinds of special savings. We're talking about your big sale. I think it was last yes, week. It's so Father's Day, right? We're They've just got so much going on this summer, so I always recommend going to their website um, and then keeping track of them on Facebook because that's where you'll find a lot of those savings and coupons and that sort of thing online. So swing by Mangelsons.com before you go to shop, but go shop and have fun quilting. Yeah, we're excited to yeah. see everybody. Thank you, Haley. Yeah, Good to see you. you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Guest